All right, so we're starting to see articles come to surface about talking about real estate cooling here, but that's certainly not the case in Huntington Beach, and let's get into it. Sure. Uh, well, if we, we're, we're comparing year-over-year uh, -year stats here. That's right. So year-over-year year year last year, uh, in 2020, there were 131 new listings. This year, 70. That's 46 so percent. That's a big so drop. That's a big drop. I don't drop. think that's going to create a cooling in the marketplace. No, I don't think so. So with less listings, you think there's going to be less closings total, right? So in uh, 2021, we had 98 closed sales in Huntington Beach, and that's down 19 percent. So that's not as big of a drop as it was for new listings. So does that mean that there's going to be an inventory issue? And we're going to get an inventory a little bit later. Qu possibly. Possibly. But, and that could start a c c cooling trend too. Ooh, so. interesting. But the average days of the market in 2020 was 31. That's a month. Okay. 2021, 18 days. 18 days. So, so just that means the buyers are still out there and really looking um, and being aggressive. Just a little over two weeks on that. And that's down 41.9% year over year. Month supply of inventory. So basically what the month supply of inventory means, if no new listings came to the market, how long would it take to sell off the current supply? In a neutral market, it's four months supply. Okay. In 2021 for Huntington Beach, for the month of October, it was 1.1 months. Wow. And that's, that's like down that's a, almost 50% compared absolutely. Right at this time last year. So basically, inventory can essentially quadruple overnight and it would still be historically considered a neutral market. So that's how low inventory is right now. And that's probably why we're seeing things still sell very quickly. Absolutely. And then if you look at the price point, we're up 10% from a year ago. I mean, that's amazing. What's the average price? Come on, uh, everybody wants to know. Last waiting year, this long. Last year, a million three plus. This year, a million four, almost a million five. So almost a million five for the average price home in, in Huntington, Huntington Beach. Beach. That's crazy, crazy. But congratulations for those crazy. of you out there that own a home in Huntington Beach because Absolutely. that's pretty impressive. Or even bought one last year. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, up 10%. Some cases in some areas up 20%. Absolutely. Um, but our seller's getting their price. So we look at the percent of original list price received. So um, if they list it for a million five. How close to a million five are they getting? And in 2021, for the month of October, 101.3%. So they're getting more than what they're asking for. And that's compared to 99.5%. See, that's crazy. Time last so year. even the prices are going up, the market time's going down, inventory is down. Overbidding's happening. Absolutely. So so I, I know that this is great news for Huntington Beach sure. and, and the market in general. And But we know there will be a cooling at some point. There will be. But right now in Huntington, we're not, we're not seeing it. No. So if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest here in Huntington Beach, we love an opportunity to assist you. My name is Lane. Philip, And we're with the Sack and Stone team, and we'll see you around, Huntington. Have a good day.